We're at East 31st in Easton, where it is the beginning of the end for a church that's been here in Des Moines since before the Civil War. It's really, really hard. Um, as you can see, this is a beautiful place. Pastor Doug Bosler is preparing for his final sermon at Des Moines Presbyterian Church. After nearly two centuries, time has run out. He says church attendance has been falling for years. The church only has 40 members. Just 15 people came to the last service. And COVID put the final nail in the coffin. It just really was hard to gain any momentum after the, the, the COVID year. I think I have the record right now. 94-year-old Mary Lou Aspengren is likely the longest serving member of the historic church. She attended her first Sunday school in 1938. That's when the former church building was at East 12th and Maple. It came down when the freeway was built. Church records date back to the 1840s and log day-to-day -day activity of the new congregation. Now there's not enough money to keep it going. I love history and, and to see something that has such an important part of Iowa history, really Des Moines history, go down. Why? That's hard. We always say the church is not a building, the church is the people, but the building is part of it. I mean, this is, this is the room where, where you experience God's presence, and it's just hard to, to let go of that. The final service is this Sunday morning, the end of an era. Todd Magel, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.